Welcome back everybody, it is Greg from the Grown Ass Nerds. Welcome to Grown Ass Nerd Site B. We are here, you will see my uh, my original uh, Kenner, there is in the background my, my Kenner Ecto uh, in its full glory there. Um, and my, my Proton Pack Creed, courtesy of my, my, my pal Ernie from my group. And I am here with my pretty much finished modded Spirit Halloween Proton Pack. I, uh, as promised, told you guys I was going to do this. I can't thank you enough again for all your kind support from the first video. And thank you for watching and, and liking and subscribing. So again, uh, you saw the review. Um, I said I was going to mount it to an Alice frame. And here she is. She is mounted to an Alice frame. But I can also kind of hold her up to the camera so you can see. Um, this is an actual uh, army issued um, Alice frame I got from a surplus store. Um, it cost about the same amount of money that you can get um, from probably your local surplus store or online. I think they run around uh, 30 to 40 dollars. I mainly got it obviously for the straps. Um, in my shopping I will tell you this that um, you can get the straps separately as some of you know and um, that would also work. I just went went the extra mile because I just wanted to, wanted to be a little extra and got the uh, the Alice frame um, as well. Put the foam up here, the uh, the trademark foam. Um, that's uh, just from the hardware store. It's actually to uh, cover up um, hot copper pipes and plumbing and things. Um, did the zip ties here. The uh, the main reveal to show you guys how I actually mounted it. So uh, I told you guys uh, that I was gonna take these straps off and you know what? I didn't. For those of you with the keen eye, those are actually the straps right there that I actually cut down. These here are actually the uh, the original straps that came with the pack. They're still attached to their top port. I did this mostly just for an added support. Um, it's not really what's keeping the pack on, but it's actually what's keeping it um, just kind of like a safety belt, uh, let's say. Um, so I cut it uh, from where it was down here and I actually took off these plastic tabs. Um, and then I wrapped, I actually crisscrossed them and then wrapped them here on this crossbar. Um, you loop it through same way you would if, if you guys are familiar with with uh, lacing these things Looped it through and tightened it. So that's kind of like a nice added uh, safety belt for your proton pack I showed you how the, the straps go here, but the real nuts and bolts of what's keeping it on are a Ghostbusters best friend Zip ties. I've got about let's see one two three four zip ties in this baby now um, What you're gonna want to do? Um, I had a, a smaller drill bit these are 75 pound test zip ties. Um, so they're not gigantic, but, and this also weighs, the pack itself weighs all of maybe three pounds at most. Um, so you're, you know, you're fine and dandy with this thing. Um, you're gonna take a smaller drill bit, and I'll show you real close there, if you guys can see. Not too big, um, just enough for the zip tie. I, uh, I put it in through there. Um, you could actually, if you wanted to, put it around the top, but I mounted mine a little bit higher on the Alice frame. Um, and uh, you don't have to replace the back or anything, like that's the original foam. You still have your battery compartment. Uh, some of you guys uh, were asking about how easy it would be for the, with this to be able to, uh, with this center uh, crossbar, to be able to get into the battery compartment. You still can. It's a little bit harder, uh, obviously, with that in the way, but if you want, you could probably move the battery pack, is probably what I would. Uh, what I would suggest or um, I don't know you can't really remove this crossbar so uh, but you guys are inventive your Ghostbusters that's what we're all about right but yeah I can still get it out it's obviously just a little bit harder because I got that right there in the way but these zip ties um, after you drill it through I just ran it through the frame and then around the Alice frame and then zip and then zip and snip and you're good to go um, I put them down there and then I obviously put them down here at the base as well um, and that's that's this, these two at the bottom actually um, didn't require any drilling. So this is actually what's left over from the strap. So these, uh, I'm sorry, stinking straps, move out of my way. I'm trying to show my friend stuff. So there's the, uh, there's the crossed um, little seat belt for it. But um, the remainder of what it was attached to here at the bottom right there is actually just a plastic loop. And that plastic loop is very strongly secured inside the original pack, so good job uh, Spirit Halloween as far as your construction is concerned. Um, uh, and so I took the zip ties and just zip tied them there on the bottom. And as you can see, that's not going anywhere. That's 
that's on there. I mean, this thing weighs close to nothing. I mean, it is, the weight of it is actually now the Alice frame, which really isn't much either as well for you guys that are familiar with wearing your packs. So, um, as you can see, I did some, uh, some weathering. Um, I went ahead and taped her off with some mask uh, masking tape and uh, masked off everything from the wand. So the wand I actually um, gave a, a darker hue and I actually went in with a uh, silver sharpie and a silver paint pen and did some detailing because the buttons were not detailed. So I did that. I actually took off the on-off label. Uh, as funny as I thought it was, I took that off and now that silver button is actually the, uh, the activate. So, uh, and then I also added um, some paint to the switches up there as well which aren't real switches, but they're there for, for flavor. I went in and then silver dry brushing then as well. Um, I did some silver dry brushing um, around, you know, the, the corners and, and little spots there, here and there. You can see around the, the, the best, probably around the cyclotron. Um, and then also the bumper um, did that as well. Uh, and so those of you, if um, you are talented painters or are not talented painters, it's it's not, not, too, not too difficult. Just mask off everything you don't want to be a darker black because um, when you get this uh, if you saw the first video it's kind of more like a grayish brown dark kind of color but not really like a, a black so I want it to be a little bit darker um, and uh, so I went in and just covered all of this with with blue masking tape and um, actually did a silver uh, base layer first and then black over it so it could still have a little bit of a metallic feel that's that's all she wrote I, I'm gonna replace the ribbon cable eventually when that comes um, I did not put on the ion arm which is probably going to be um, my next uh, um, order of business so yeah real easy job I mean honestly guys um, Again, this is not a paid endorsement for Spirit Halloween. They did send this stuff to me um, to, to give you guys the review, and I'm very thankful to them. And I also hope that all you guys that have ordered them, get them soon. This is seriously the best value you can get for a starter pack or a pack for your group for kids to wear or to try on and, and play with. Um, I mean, I had, you know, really easy time just, you know, giving this the overhaul. Um, the hose, I haven't really taken a heat gun yet too, but I haven't really, it hasn't annoyed me too much yet. So, um, and then also obviously, those are, those are the lights again. Um, and uh, the lights, you know, if you want a cyclotron going all the time, that's something that you guys, obviously people smarter than me could probably mod and, and figure out. Um, and I look forward to hopefully you guys, you know, seeing you guys post some of those videos. One added thing I want to I want to show you guys that I think is pretty cool that I noticed right here, uh, the exhaust or the, the valve here. Um, this is actually a separate piece. If you can see where it's separated, and I was kind of wiggling it, and this thing actually I think can come off pretty easily. So a really fun mod I've seen a lot of people do, obviously, is um, for, for some of you already know, is the e cigs that you put in there to actually pump out. Um, some vapor, you know, get some uh, marshmallow flavored or something that, that pops out so you can stay stay in character. And uh, that'd be real easy to do, to put in there, especially because that just pops right off. Um, in, my, in doing this construction, um, I did realize when I was putting in the zip ties, I mean, this is actually just a completely hollow shell. Um, they constructed all the electronics um, onto a layer of cardboard in, that's in between the foam and the shell. So it's really just shell cardboard foam that's that's really all it is again another added detail a lot of you guys have been asking about the scale um, not just because of my angle i'm probably not going to stand up and put her on but you can see to my torso anyway that basically is about the size of my torso i mean it's it's about i'd say close to 80 it's closer to 75 80 percent uh scale and it even looks a little bit better even on the alice frame um now up against my other pack um, which is right now in my ecto, um, but next to my other pack, it doesn't look like, you know, it's little, you know, baby duckling proton pack. It looks, you know, like the tall little brother. Um, so again, it's just an amazing value for the money. I mean, $69.99 is, is, is ridiculous. Uh, and especially after, you know, the discounts, you can get it for probably $60, $50 um, during the Halloween season with all the coupons. So get on it. And, um, Thank you again uh, for all the support. You guys are so incredible, and, and uh, I love uh, connecting with all of you on uh, the Ghostbusters uh, franchises worldwide on Facebook. I uh, hope to post some more videos for you guys that are, are fun um, and uh, in my nerdy adventuring and, and tinkering. Um, again, just like, subscribe. Check out the Black Swamp Ghostbusters on Facebook. If you like us, subscribe. Uh, 
and like us on Facebook and uh, get to see all the fun we're going to be doing. Thank you out there and keep busting. <laughs>